Carver. Thank you. The Iranian nuclear agreement represented possibly one of the biggest shifts in Western Middle Eastern relations for decades. Whilst, of course, the full repercussions of the nuclear agreement remain to be seen and whether all sides can stick to the agreement, what is undoubted is that it gives us further grounds to continue dialogue and continue to build up mutual trust and respect. If, uh, if this is to prove fruitful, this must be done through existing international institutions and multilateral and bilateral dialogue. I must, however, question the necessity of this report and its aim of an EU strategy. Once again, the EU is showing its immaturity when it comes to diplomacy. The too much, too quickly approach taken in this report, I believe, may actually prove to be counterproductive in the long term. As we all know, trust can take decades to build, but be broken far more quickly. I believe that the comments in this report on Syria are pointless. Middle Eastern diplomacy is, to make an obvious understatement, complex, with multifaceted interests of the major players globally and regionally. All parties represent legitimate national concerns, and it is only by coming to a reasonable accommodation that a lasting peace can be found. In short, I would suggest we build slowly on the success of the dialogue before the nuclear deal. Let's agree where we can agree and agree to discuss differences where we can. However, whilst my own concerns over the Iranian stance towards Israel remains relevant and topical in this context, let's not pressure Iran with an all-encompassing agreement that we know would be doomed to failure. For once, Madam President, let's stop posturing and see if we can actually bring some stability to the region. I'd also like to pay tribute to Richard. Richard, you and I disagree on pretty much everything, but I think Foreign Affairs Committee will be a different place without you, certainly from a British context, and I wish you all the very best for your future outside the Parliament.